Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you, some amazing and weird trees in the world. So let's start. Number 1. An ancient 4,852-year-old bristlecone pine, the Methuselah tree, grows high in the White Mountains of Eastern California. It is recognized as the non-clonal tree, with the greatest confirmed age in the world. Methuselah is located between 2,900 and 3,000 meters above sea level, in Take Methuselah Grove, in the ancient bristlecone pine forest, within the Inyo National Forest. Its exact location within the grove was a secret, protected by the United States Forest Service. The exact location of the tree, though, is kept secret to protect it against vandalism. When Edmund Schulman and Tom Holland took samples from the famous tree in 1957, they discovered it was 4,789 years old. It is estimated that the tree germinated in 2832 BCE, making Methuselah one of the oldest known living trees, and non-clonal organism in the entire world. Number 2 Eucalyptus deglepter is a species of tall tree, commonly known as the rainbow eucalyptus. It almost looks like a colored pencil being sharpened. It is characterized by multicolored bark. Takes on different colors as bark sheds, and the inner bark slowly ages. It has smooth, orange-tinted bark that sheds in strips, revealing streaks of pale green, red, orange, gray, and purplish-brown. It is native to the Philippines, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea. Eucalyptus deglepter is a fast-growing tree, that typically reaches a height of 60 to 75 meters, with the trunk up to 240 centimeters, in diameter, and, with buttresses up to 4 meters high. Number 3 The Great Banyan, is the largest banyan tree, located in Acharya Jagadish Chandra Bose Indian Botanic Garden, Shippur, Howrah, near Kolkata, India. The Great Banyan tree, is believed to be at least 250 years old, and has been referenced in many travel books, going back to at least the 19th century. A 330 meter long road was built around its circumference, but the tree continues to spread beyond it. It has survived two great cyclones in 1864 and 1867, when some of its main branches were broken. The Great Banyan is said to appear more like a dense forest, than as an individual tree. It covers about 14,500 square meters of land. Number 4 Dracaena cinnabari, the Socotra dragon tree, or dragon blood tree, is a dragon tree, native to the Socotra archipelago, part of Yemen, located in the Arabian Sea. This evergreen species is named after its dark red resin, which is known as dragon's blood. The dragon blood tree, has a unique and strange appearance, with an upturned, densely packed crown, having the shape of an uprightly held umbrella. Dragon's blood is used as a stimulant, and abortifacient. The root yields a gum resin, used in gargle water as a stimulant, astringent and in toothpaste. The root is used in rheumatism, the leaves are a carminative. The trees can be harvested for their crimson red resin, called dragon's blood, which was highly prized in the ancient world, and is still used today. Around the Mediterranean basin, it is used as a dye and as a medicine. Number 5 Hyperion is a coast redwood, in California that was measured at 115.85 meters, which ranks it as the world's tallest known living tree. Hyperion was discovered August 25, 2006, by naturalists Chris Atkins and Michael Taylor. The tree was found in a remote area of Redwood National, and state parks purchased in 1978. It is estimated to contain 530 cubic meter, of wood. The park also houses the second tallest tree Helios, and the third tallest Icarus. 
Sillet estimates Hyperion to be 600 years old, while others report it to be roughly 700 to 800 years old. The exact location of Hyperion is kept secret to protect the tree from damage. Number 6 Brachychiton rupestris, commonly known as the narrow-leaved bottle tree, or Queensland bottle tree, is a tree in the family, Malvaceae, native to Queensland, Australia. The bottle tree is a plant, that has adapted to hot climates, such as the desert. They are called bottle trees because the shape of their trunk, is a bottle shape. Its bulbous trunk, which can be up to 3.5 meters diameter at breast height, reaching 10 to 25 meters high. Aboriginal people made use of the trees through eating the roots of young plants and by consuming secretions from the trunk that were induced by wounds. Fiber obtained from the species was used to make nets. The leaves have also been used for fodder. The pulp is energy-rich but protein-poor, and occasional cases of nitrate poisoning have led to cattle deaths. Number 7 Pillalamari, or Pillalamari, is an 800-year-old banyan tree located in Mahabubnagar, Telangana, India. The tree is spread over four acres. The sightseeing is partially closed as of November 2018, because of the treatment, being carried out for the plant. Viewing of the tree can only be done from outside the fence, going inside is closed. There are tombs of two Muslim Sufi saints, Jamal Hussain and Kamal Hussain, in the vicinity, and there is also a beautifully reconstructed Sri Raja Rajeshwar temple, on the premises. The temple was transplanted here from, Urladan on the left bank of the Krishna river. Number 8 The Munchenea tree, is a species of flowering plant, in the Spurge family. Its native range stretches from, tropical southern North America, to northern South America. Munchenea is one of the most toxic trees in the world. The tree has milky white sap which contains numerous toxins, and can cause blistering. The sap is present in every part of the tree, the bark, the leaves, and the fruit. Standing beneath the tree, during rain, will cause blistering of the skin. Burning the tree may cause ocular injuries, if the smoke reaches the eyes. The sweet-smelling small fruits can cause hours of agony, and potentially death, with a single bite. Spanish explorer Havan Ponce de Leon, died shortly after an injury, incurred in battle, with the Calusa in Florida, being struck by an arrow, that had been poisoned with Munchenea sap. That's it for today guys. Like, share, subscribe and comment. Thanks for watching.